What's up guys? And yes, I have another Jepovid for you guys. And actually, I did not know that I was going to be doing this video until like literally two hours ago because this Zippo was a gift. It was like my dad, he like literally got, he got it yesterday. He went to a smoke shop and got it from yesterday. And it was this smoke shop. He even gave me their card in case I might want to go back there and get any other Zippos, I guess. They're in Fredericksburg, Virginia. So yeah. Literally, like, I was just, whoops, oh jeez. Good thing this Zippo is going to be a user. But, um, so, literally, yesterday, I mean, actually, no, just two hours ago. Oh, jeez. Um, anyway, so yeah, just a couple hours ago, I was sitting on the couch uploading pictures on Instagram. And he was like, oh, I got a prize for you for, for yesterday. And I was like, uh, is it a Zippo? Because I had a feeling that it was a Zippo from the beginning, and it turned out it was. And it's not a normal Zippo, it's a Zippo that I've really wanted. That was actually, I was planning on being my next user. And that's why this one actually has not been used that much. It's only been used about a month. And I wanted to use it a lot more. So this will be used again at some point. But for now it's coming into temporary retirement. So here we go. On the back, it will say model number, hold on, let's get that in focus, please, thank you, model one, model number 169, high polish brass armor, yes, I've wanted an armor Zippo for a while, oh my gosh, what the heck, oh, sorry guys, I thought that was my cat again, because I've had to retake this video twice because once it was someone who was interrupting me and the second time I thought it was someone interrupting me again but it turned out it was just my cat. So I wanted in the second time I, I was filming me filling this up. So sadly it's already filled up guys. I wanted to put that video up but I didn't so it is really nice. And anyway so P-I-Z-Z-S-C-N he made a video when he first got his, now he got his, um, I believe he said it, he got his off of Amazon, but I'm kind of glad that this came from like a shop, because Fredericksburg is pretty local to where we live, it's about an hour away, so anyway, I just thought I'd mention that, and yes, and also if you did not know that, um, these high polish armors, actually, yeah, you can kind of see it there, the grain, like the metal of how they polished it, it almost looks like it's like all scratched up, but it's not. That's just the way these are, and you can actually see me in the camera, and my and my Apex gun parts sticker on my phone, and that's what I use to film all these videos. So anyway, oh yeah, also I wanted to mention that this lighter, you see, this is how you're supposed to look at the stamps. Oopsie. It's a Zippo oopsie, and actually, I did not do this. I should have done this, and actually, I'm going to do this now. So, this was made in D of 2012, so that means it should have a red insert. I mean, the words on the felt pad on the bottom should be red. And also, um, if you don't know how to date Zippos, you go A, B, C, D, January, February, March, April. So, this was made in April of 2012. And actually, I want to see the insert. Now, let's see. Is it, where's the, when was the insert made? It was made in F of 2012. So that would be... That would be June. It was made in June of 2012. So, actually, yeah. But what really I think is cool is this was the only one that they had in the smoke shop, my dad said. That was an armor. Or at least a solid brass armor. It was the only one. And it happens to be an oopsie. Because if you look, see the hinges are both on this side. That little thing right there is a hinge. And boom. It's an oopsie. And if you don't know what this little mark right here is, that A with like a shield and the zip of flame over it, that is their symbol for it's an armor. So this is a... 
this is going to be a user, guys. So, yes. And also, it came with this little other pamphlet that I thought was really cool. And I actually will show that to you. So, it's care of your Zippo brass lighter. So, I'll read the first part. It says, you are now the owner of a Zippo brass lighter. We appreciate your purchase of this premium Zippo product. The brass case has a light protective coating to prevent it from tarnishing before it is used. The coating will wear off due to normal use. To restore the natural finish, we recommend the following. Clean it with, with brass polish. But the reason why I got this is because I already knew that. I was actually going to tell you guys, so that actually reminded me <laughs> to tell you that, yeah. So, when these go to, like, all the sellers, they want them to be all shiny and stay shiny, right? So, they put this coating, like, of the brass polish on here, and as that wears off, it's going to start tarnishing. And, man, when this thing starts tarnishing, it's going to look cool. And my dad thinks so, too. So, anyway, guys, and also, yes, I am almost out still. I don't know how this is lasting. It's like... It's like magic. It's like staying like at this level. Like yesterday it was at this level, and I filled up like three Zippos, and it's still at this level. Creepy. Anyway, just thought I'd say that. So anyway, this is the Armor Zippo. I might make a part two because all the time I'm like thinking of all the things that I can say in my video. But I'm so happy though that I got this. Like I was blown away that he got this for me, that my dad got this for me. So thank you for getting this for me. So, anyway, just, oh, what, oh, so there it is, the Zippo High Polished Brass Armor model, I think it was 169, see you guys later.